Hi there. Welcome once again to Shorty on the Fly. Uh, today, since it is Isonychia season in these here parts, we're going to be tying a Slate Drake Hair Wing Emerger. Um, it's a very versatile pattern as most of these are. Uh, we're going to tie it for the uh, old Isonychia, which are on the water right now uh, in full force. So let's go ahead and get started. So for my hook today, I'm using a size 12 clink hammer hook, which gives us that beautiful profile of letting the back end of the fly hang down into the water while the, uh, while the wing is and thorax are setting right in the surface fill, makes it a great look. Uh, for my thread, I'm using my Olive 60 Danville. So we'll go ahead and get that started in the usual fashion. And I'm gonna run the thread right back to about where the bend starts happening around the edge there and then trim away the waist. Now for a trailing shuck, I'm using uh, Zelon yarn in brown. And what I've done is taken one of the, the uh, pieces of it and, and split it down the middle, split it in half. So we get a little bit smaller uh, situation there. We don't want it huge. So, and then the deal is come in and even up the tips, which makes for a much easier tie in. All right now place the material right above where the thread is and do a pinch wrap to secure it and then run the thread all the way down to just about where the barb on the hook is and I'm leaving the barb there today just so you can see where I want to go with this I would pinch that off normally but that's about how far we want to go with the thread all right now come in and trim the shuck off about a hook gap in length that looks pretty good and then just take a wrap or two to get your thread situated so that it doesn't jostle that shuck out of place now for my my abdomen today i'm using um renee harrop uh dubbing in a mahogany color but any color that you have that uh, duplicates that uh, mahogany colored slate drake or isonychia will do and what we want to do is, as always, we're going to put the dubbing on the thread in small amounts. Okay, we don't want to get crazy with it. As I have said so many times before, when you're dealing with dubbing, less is more. It's easier to put more on than it is to take it off if you have too much. This is an easy fly, fly to tie, by the way. Um, just a couple of steps here. So I think we have just about enough. And if we don't, we'll come back and put a little bit more on. So now, just tighten that up a little bit. Now we're just gonna start running our dubbing our th and our thread right back up the hook shank. I'm trying to create a little bit of a taper as I go. Okay, and then when we get up to the flat part of the hook, this is where we're going to attach our wing, which in this case is going to be made of uh, Comparadun or coastal deer hair, it's Comparadun hair, uh, and this is in a, uh, a medium color. Okay, and I've already taken it off and put it in, but I'll show you in the stacker. But I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to take a clump off, and then what you need to make sure you do is if you hold it by the tips, okay, and just try to get all of that excess under fur out of there. Holding it by the tips allows you to do this pretty easily. Okay, so we did that. I already stacked it so you don't have to listen to me whacking the stacker on the desktop here. And then I'm gonna pull my hairs out and situate them on the hook so that the wing is gonna be about the length of the, of the hook, right to the back edge of the hook there. And now I'm, I'm hanging on to these. I'm not gonna wrap real hard. I'm gonna take like kind of a collecting wrap and then pull straight up to situate things. And I'm gonna start wrapping through this. I found this is the best way to get this hair to stay on the hook without spinning around, especially when you're gonna cover the thorax up with dubbing as I'm gonna do. See, that it's on there good. It's not going anywhere. And now you can start to pull the rest of those, those hairs up and out of the way. You're always going to have a few stragglers. We might have to come in and get those with the scissors at some point. And then to the best of your ability, try to hold all of those 
fibers above the hook and come in and try to trim them out and maybe we get lucky and get just about all of them. I got just about all of them. Just, just a couple little stragglers here that we want to deal with. All right, and that's just fine. Now just take a couple of wraps to kind of neaten things up and give yourself a good landing pad for the thorax. And in this case, I'm using um, the SLF prism dubbing in light gray. I just like that little bit of extra shimmer, that little extra kind of wink at the fish situation that this allows you to do. And we're gonna spin that on in exactly the same fashion that we did with the uh, dubbing for the abdomen. And that should be good to go. All right, now, start wrapping right around, right back where the wing began. Come forward, right up to the hook eye, then pull things back and out of the way. We don't wanna do that. Let me get that out of there. We don't wanna be dirtying up the hook eye with something in the way. All right, we got her. And now we come in and whip finish. And there you have it. And I just want to show you that that those two little wisps are sticking out over there, but the eye is clean, as you can see. So we're good to go. So there it is. There is one regulation isonychia or slate drake hair wing emerger. Uh, I use this when the fish might be a little bit picky and this sets in the water so nicely and sits that, sits that back of the abdomen below the water in such a way that it really looks like a struggling insect. You can see it's got a really great profile for that. And again, with most of these, you can alter the body material and size of the hook to suit whatever uh, insect you're trying to uh, duplicate. But this one works really well for me, uh, especially at this time of year. So as always, if you enjoyed it, like or subscribe, leave a comment. We always love hearing from you. Get out on the water. The fishing's great right now. I bid you peace.